I'm Valentin Yanov. I'm a class of 2011. I'm majoring in economics and government and minoring in mathematics. And I'm doing research in the area of international trade with Professor Robert Johnson in the economics department. Essentially, no complex good is really produced in one place anymore, but it's really international and global. We are trying to use network analytic approaches to international trade networks. We are dealing with something like 180 countries, where each individual country is a node in a graph, and each trade link is a link on that graph. Network analytic approaches are relatively new in economics, and only the advancement of certain computational techniques, such as network analysis um, and graph theory, have made this possible. Based on my readings and our analysis, we have been able to draw some surprising conclusions about the nature of international trade and investment and the global economy in general. For example, we are surprised to see that although we would expect richer countries to invest in poorer countries in order to take advantage of, of cheaper labor and um, cheaper resources there, we actually see that rich countries mostly invest in, um, in other rich countries. Analysis of certain financial networks across different countries in time can probably tell us how the global economic meltdown progressed and how the, um, the financial crisis deepened. Once we have the, the structure of the global um, trade network, we can see, easily simulate the certain shocks to the system. For example, if we know that something extreme is happening there, or a crisis, or in a certain sector there's a, some sort of an embargo that is imposed, and then we can easily see through computational approaches how that affects other countries. These kinds of shocks are certainly seen in the international trade as well. We are hoping through our analysis to see how the ripple effect occurred in, in the economy and what was the effect on particular sectors or particular regions. We are trying to use this, these novel approaches which have been only developed over the past decade to really analyze the structure of this global trade network. <laughs>